Hi everybody, three new senior meteorologists, Matt Wentz would look at your trick or treat forecasts. You either have trick or treat this weekend or you probably have it next week on Halloween. So I want to cover both for you, kind of give you a heads up on what I'm seeing coming our way. This weekend, what I see coming our way is beautiful weather. It's going to feel like fall outside. We've got mid fifties, both Saturday, Sunday. If your trick or treat is Saturday night, temperatures are going to fall back into the forties. It's going to be chilly. We'll have a light breeze around, but the kids are going to need some layers underneath their costume as we'll be back into the thirties Saturday night and the Sunday morning, but for trick or treat itself, 50s falling back into the 40s. Most importantly, we're dry. Sunday looks good. Browns taking on the Ravens. We look okay. All right, let's go Long Ranger because this gets all the way through Halloween. System heads out of here for the weekend. Here's your big high pressure. The reason why we've been so dry over the last month and a half is a lot of our flow has been pushing down into the Gulf of Mexico. So we haven't had a true moisture connection between the Gulf and any storm system that swings through. We're seeing it here with the front that's passing today. We've seen it with the last couple fronts, just not a lot of moisture. Things change next week. Our high pressure from the weekend sets itself off the eastern seaboard. This develops a strong flow and guess where it's coming from? Gulf of Mexico. So we start to get some moisture with any systems that come in. We're expecting a big low in a series of them to develop out in the Plain States next week. Our first true fall like storm system will develop in the Plains probably Monday, Tuesday and notice the flow coming out of the Gulf. So we warm up. We get real windy next week. We'll stay dry for the majority of the week until this system begins to head our way. There'll be a snowstorm in the Rockies, severe weather in the Plains. And what we're going to be tracking is this line of showers and storms out ahead and with the front. And look at the timing of this. We're now Thursday, Halloween, 3 p.m. Rain is moving in from the west. Some storms with it as well. Gusty winds possible with that. And unfortunately, we've been saying this for the last five or six days. It looks to time up right with trick or treat Halloween evening. So if you've got trick or treat or Halloween festivities, Halloween night, it looks to be wet and windy at this point with some storm chances around that moves on out and we keep this pattern with the flow out of the Gulf going with more rain and perhaps some rumbles around here with another bigger storm system later on next weekend. And then it looks like maybe another one after that. So we turn rainy across areas that need it. There's a drought almost across the entire country right now. So we could use big systems like this and the snowfall getting a little claustrophobic here in Ohio. The West ski season is going to be off to a huge start. Even southern Canada starting to see some rain or some snow. So in terms of the Halloween forecast here locally, we haven't changed this, but I just want to give you a heads up. It continues to look like rain. Some wind around will be really warm. 70s falling back into the 60s when the rain hits, uh, but we are looking at rain. So perhaps plan ahead on that costume or whatever plans you have. Hit up neighborhoods this weekend if you can. All right, Union Home Mortgage 7 day forecast. There you go. Cooler weekend and then temperatures climb. We're into the 70s with some wind by Tuesday. And there's your PM chance of some rain and even storms around here for Halloween. We'll continue to keep you updated right here on three.